June 29, 1933. You're looking at Jack Sharkey, world's heavyweight champion, and challenger Primo Carnera in a scheduled 15-round heavyweight title bout. As Sharkey rushes in, he catches a hard left that sends him into the ropes. Carnera, with his back to us, is a fighter by agitation rather than by instinct, a manufactured heavyweight. He advanced to the contender's role by knocking over a long line of hand-picked second- and third-rate opponents. Sharkey is making the first defense of the crown he won from Max Schmeling one year ago. Carnera has height, weight, and reach in his favor. Dupreme stands six and a half feet tall and weighs 260 and a half pounds. The question is, can Sharkey's speed and faster punching overcome Carnera's advantages in height, weight, reach, and brute power? Round six, final round. Sharkey hasn't been getting away from Dupreme's shots. He's slowing down. Sharkey finds himself in a headlock. Years later, Carnera was to become a better wrestler than a boxer. Carnero opens up with uppercuts and Sharkey is getting deeper and deeper into trouble. His crown has begun to topple. Carnero showing his sharpest accuracy since round one has been in complete command here in round six. Now watch Sharkey's best punch of the fight, a right hand, but it only slows Primo down a moment. Now comes the end for Sharkey. Watch this right uppercut. The fans are stunned at the sight of the champion flat on his face. Carnera, after a long climb up the ladder, has at last achieved his ambition. <laughs>